Hello everyone and welcome back to Asian Agash and in this video it's just going to be a super quick video kind of like the one I did yesterday on more news which is all about Warhammer Age of Sigma now and particularly Warhammer Quest being Cursed City as the first expansion for the game has just been announced. So what we're going to be doing is looking at this Warhammer Community article. Um, I've just had a quick like scan through it. I haven't read it but I had a quick scan through it. It doesn't look like it's particularly long so it's probably quite a short video but the main question I want to get to at the bottom of this video is that are Games Workshop being good on delivering their promises when it comes to Warhammer Quest Curse City? Because it was a bit of an embarrassment with them, the whole sort of, they said that it was going to be available forever and everything like that. And then they discontinued it really quickly. And then they brought it back with made to order. And then it's all just sort of fizzled out. And then they promised to bring it back. And this is the first sort of step of that beyond that made to order. So it'd be interesting to see is this Cursed City expansion going to be quite good? Look very interesting to get for yourself. Um, is it going to be like the Blackstone Fortress, I believe, which was the Warhammer quest um, for 40k, where there were some really cool expansions? We will see that in this article. At least we'll get a glimpse to see if it's all been worth waiting for. So let us dive in. And of course, if you are watching this live, let me know your thoughts in the chat and if you're watching this on demand let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i will say like as you can see in the background i have got all my quest um curse city but i haven't actually played it yet it's still uh shrink wrap because i couldn't get it on the first release because um, i missed out essentially so i've got it later and um i'm yet to play this game but it's a game i definitely wanted to play for a very very long time so let's hopefully see that i'm going to be more excited to play it after reading all of this right so let's see what it says Tackle a trio of terrifying vampires in Night Wars, the upcoming expansion for Warhammer Quest Curse City. So, Warhammer Quest Curse City is coming back. The immersive co op dungeon crawler set in Age of Sigma was first released in 2021 and returned earlier this year as a made to order product. Just briefly covering over the disaster of how they released that. But anyway, it will return to the store shelves for good this October. And in celebration, we bring news of an expansion. Warhammer Quest Curse City Night Wars picks up where Curse City left off, continuing the narrative with new journeys, powerful upgrades, and new rules for horrific enemies that are valiantly so that a valiant adventurer party can fight during the curse of night unending. So like I've said, I haven't played Curse City yet. If you haven't played Curse City yet, obviously play the main game. And then this is like, you know, an expansion, a sequel to add on to that. You wouldn't do this first. And this is the box art. Um, well, I've used the thumbnail of this video already. I do think that is pretty cool. I really, really like the style of Curse City. The sort of, you know, I don't know the technical term for it, but, you know, the very sort of, they may see like dull colors, but, you know, the, the bright red contrasting with the whites and the blacks i think it's very very striking really really good i was a huge fan of the trailers and everything they came out for it. that's why i was just disappointed in how they handled it but it says in the darkness suffocating orphan con one guttering beacon of light stands alone a survivor's enclave named haven what's more three vampiric lords have arrived in the cursed city with plans for the throne of um ebon city abandoned sorry Evan citadel abandoned after a certain bestial vampire was sent packing with his tail between his legs and then to flush these new vampires out your heroes must undertake a new journeys exclusive to night wars wipe out lady annika the first in blade vampires taint from orphan khan disable camilla's du song which i presume is the generic vampire lord we see here information networks and raise the vermin infested territories of Kritza the rat prince then face off against one in so one in a climactic and a bloody decapitation um come in it so i think we have got confirmation that this was a female vampire so i think that was up in the air when it first came out so there we go that's confirmed and then it says as they gain experience your heroes will be able to unlock elite classes with new abilities they'll need all the help they can get to take down all these free bloodsuckers and the monstrous creatures that still stalk the streets of orphan khan so obviously i haven't played curse city the main game yet so i might be sort of being over optimistic about this but the way they describe it saying you'll be able to unlock elite classes with new abilities you might be able to do that already but it kind of reminds me a little bit like um uh vermintide if you've ever played that like the more experience you get with certain character 
you can upgrade it like you can turn like your normal like dwarf ranger into like a slayer or an iron drake or essential so i like the idea of that but i think i might be getting too ahead of myself with that it says haven is rife with um rumors of radica himself is among these creatures having adapted a new hideous new form so that just basically means the new uh radicar was it the beast that came out with the soul blight release um this expansion contains no miniatures all right well that's pretty sad um so you can acquire each of the three vampires in turn as you head out on your quest to hunt them down one by one you'll need a set of fell bats radica the beast to start immediately if you've already got a soul like gravel's collection this expansion unlocks a heap of new narrative opportunities um right so yeah so that's a bit sad so if you are massively into your soul by grave lords and you absolutely jumped on board on the release for the soul like grave lords and that came out you probably all got those models and that's absolutely fine um but if you didn't and um you want to get the expansion the expansion is going to cost well i haven't got any models in it it might not be too expensive but i'm going to say at least 20 to 30 pounds here in the uk maybe more i'd be very surprised it's less and then I think a unit you know, of fell bats, if you buy it from GW, is like thirty pounds. And then Radicar, the the beast is here about 30. like before you know it, this expansion has cost you a lot of money, um, especially if you don't have like these three vampires already. Uh, again, you can find them second hand or from a third party retailer for for cheaper. But before you know it, the, the cost of all this, you could have bought silver, uh, not silver tower. You could have bought Curse City twice. Um, yeah, so not. Not a fan of that, to be honest. And if that is the case, um, for people who don't already have Soul Black Ravelos Army, I don't know how popular this is going to be. Because I know, for example, I, di I didn't play Blackstone Fortress, but I knew the expansions on that from what I could see, you got the models with it. That's as, as far as I could tell from looking at the pictures and the, looking at the boxes. So if that was the case for Blackstone Fortress, which is the biggest thing I can compare this to, but not the case for this, it, it's a bit sad. But don't get me wrong, if this expansion comes out and it's like a tenner, then... I can see more justification for it, but yeah, it's easily, easily add up. And I don't think people want to spend that much money, especially at the moment of how the world is. Um, but anyway, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. So if you've yet to play uh, Curse City, you'll have your chance later in the year. This immersive cooperative board game tasks you with commanding a band of heroes to take on the corrupt controllers at Ulfen Khan, and it can even be played solo. Um, that's I didn't know it could be played solo unless I completely forgot about that. That's, that is particularly cool. I don't know if they did that obviously because um, COVID and lockdown, all that sort of thing. It comes with 16 incredible miniatures, uh, which can also find homes in your order and death collections. There'll be more news on the expansion, sign up to the newsletter, etc. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointed. Um, with that to be honest without knowing any more details and not even have played the game yet so bear in mind that's my point of view that's my perspective so make that what you will but um yeah a, a bit disappointed i think mainly just because there's no new models coming out uh i was quite excited for that and their idea of not bringing new models that it's like buy the models that we've already released because clearly they have not sold enough of um annika the rat prince etc i uh, maybe in your local areas loads of people bought them but i Around here, I, I know they haven't. Um, she's probably quite popular. Um, just do a head swap, essentially. Um, but I think they may be what I mean, fell bats. I think they look awesome, but I know they're not particularly good in the game. So maybe they want to sell some more of these. But I know they might have planned this expansion, you know, so far in advance, they couldn't even foresee that they hadn't sold many of these models. Uh, obviously not not loads of information here, but just wanted to give you my quick thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, I overall disappointed. Uh, the only positive thing I have about this is the fact that there is an expansion. But when it goes beyond to, am I, you know, quite happy about what the expansion looks to be? No, uh, but I, I could eat my words and completely go against what I just said there. But at the moment. It just sounds really, really expensive if you haven't already got these models. And I know it might be like, well, why are you interested in the expansion if you're not interested in spending a bit more money? It's like, no, I, I completely get that. But with expansions, I expect to have the models I need for the expansion in the box. But we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. I, I don't want to be too harsh on this. I just know that Curse City, for me, was something that, like I mentioned, I really, really liked the idea of, and like I said, I've got the box set and stuff. 
and then I just feel like Games Workshop really handled it badly. And then when they say like, you know, oh, they're bringing it back and all these sorts of things, like, oh, fair enough, you know, they I don't think they owed up to the fact that they really mucked up on it, but they went along the lines of going like, you know, we're going to make it better. Everything else is coming back better than before. And then it, it, it kind of just feels like it's a little bit of a letdown so far, but we'll see. I'll be happy to be wrong on this. Trust me. Um, just seeing if any of you guys put anything in the comments. Um, so we've got King saying, I'm a bit bummed that the models aren't included. Yeah, exa exactly. So I've literally just been reading this on my phone now and um, your chat. So, yep. Yeah completely agree with you king there on that one just yeah just just feels like just like deflated really on the excitement for this now i mean you get some tokens which obviously you need for the game but uh, like really no models and especially like there was a bit where it says um oh where where are we i'm trying to get to the uh there's a bit where it says um yeah, like and monstrous creatures that stalk the streets. I was like, oh, maybe new monstrous key, uh, creatures. And he goes, this, this expansion contains no miniatures. And it's like, oh, okay, so so no like new Vile scribes or or anything like that. That's I was a little bit expecting that when I saw the box because I had a quick look at this box when, like I said, I used it for the thumbnail before I read this, and I was like, oh, there's there's a couple of skeletons. They look the same. He's the yoga. That's one of the characters. And then I didn't really know what these three, three things were, but I could easily see that they're just these characters. Um, yeah, yeah, Raiders. Well, I could see why they released these two characters now the Rat Prince and uh Lenny Etnica because at first they seemed very, very weird to release with the Soul Black Raider release because they added absolutely nothing to the army, unless you like the model, right? So let's get that out of the way. They added nothing to the army synergy wise, so I don't think they were particularly popular. Um, and they were all like, I think they, I know the Rat Prince definitely was, I presume she was as well, uh, were tied to the Cursed City, and it's like, oh, that's weird. So I think. Curse City came out, and then Soul Blight came out, and then it was like Curse City has now disappeared. But these two, and you know, um, what do you call it, the bestial version of um, Radicar, etc., came out, and it was like, oh, so they just completely skipped through all the expansions of Curse City, and it's like, oh, here, here's here are the models that were meant to be in the Curse City expansions for um, your Soul Blight Grave Lord Arm. It, it just felt very, very wrong. Um, so yeah. Uh, King also says, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get into it, yeah. Um, and he says, I mean, hell, try and buy. Um, it's like, yeah, it's just feels very annoying. Um, and I let down because I think Curse City was one of those things where, like I say, people were already a bit. I know at least I was, as you can't tell already by my whining in this video, that I was very annoyed at how they handled Curse City. And this is just seems like ugh, another, they've made a half ass attempt at go through their promises with um talking about making some really good expansions but maybe it'll come out and it'll be fantastic and I, like i said i really hope to be wrong on this but i don't think it will be and then t bishop was saying i bought the lady on the left already um i'm still pretty hyped even though the models don't come with it i mean like to be fair um bishop you're you're i was gonna say you're further away there but you're not because unless you have the beastial version of like radicar and um the, the fell bats and stuff you're, you're really not like further away there but um I'm glad that you're still excited. Um, I'm not saying this won't be fun. I just feel like this is like a really like dodgy and greedy way Games Workshop have gone around releasing this expansion. Because the expansion was kind of like to make up for the fact that we all thought they lost faith in the game before it even started. And I didn't know if there was some sort of copyright issue or something back then. Um, I think that was one of the rumours of why they dropped it. But it was a little bit like lost faith. And then they say like, we'll bring all the, you know, like, We'll make you have faith in us again. Yeah, we're going to bring it back really well. And then they, they've done this, which kind of sounds like a way to bleed money out of you. And I know it's vampires and bleeding money is might be on theme here. But yeah, it, it, it just seems disappointing. But what I'll do for you guys as well is I'll, um, if there's enough interest, I will cover the next community article they do on it. It'll only be a short video again. Um, just to see if, if I can be proven wrong, which I really want to be wrong. Um, and really want this to be really good. Uh, that, that's that's again where my disappointment comes from. Is because I want it to do well, and hopefully I'll be um, I'll be shown in the in the next community article that'd be really good. Hopefully they'll start off with going joking. You get loads of new models, but I, I doubt. It. Or like they say, there's three expansions coming out. The first one, nothing, because they thought people would, are still just basically finished painting the base models for the base game. And there may be expansion too. There'll be some new models. And then for me, that will personally probably make up for it. You know, go, oh, okay. I did kind of see what they were going for.
But anyway, guys, so with that, uh, we come to the end of the video. I just want this to be a quick one, just to give you my thoughts. I, I literally have just woken up, um, gone to brush my teeth, went on my phone quickly, and um, I've seen that this has came out. So I thought I would want to cover it with you guys. But thank you very much for joining along. I hope you guys are really, well, I was going to say really excited by this. But it's just natural for me to say that when new things come out. But I hope you guys are willing to bear with me on this, and hopefully it will be good um with that one i hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway uh i just see that bishop's put one finger in the chat saying i do have the beast version as well uh soul of grave mods is one of my bigger collections i do understand how it would be bad for those who hadn't already bought most of the stuff yeah i i think like i kind of said at the start of the video like bishop is a good example here he's already got a lot of soul like gravel stuff so it's probably not going to be a pain um i suppose there's things like uh, for example, for myself, I really like the Fellback models. I think they're the, some of the best models in the whole model range for a Soul Black Grave Lords. And it's kind of like hard to justify buying them because I think they're like £30 for free and they're not good in the game. But at least now I could go, well, they're really cool models and they needed to be in this game. So more justification for it, which might be one of the GW's plans on that one. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm about to sign off in a minute, guys. If you've got any questions, I'll put that in the comments. Uh, King is saying... I'm keen for more of the game. Just having to get separate bits to use it is a pain. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's one of those things, isn't it? Where like Games Workshop has have really annoyed us with how they've delivered this, or like I say, they've annoyed me, and it's not like they've, they've annoyed a few of you. And it's like we're, we we want to trust them, we're willing to trust them, and then they're like they're only making a half an effort for us to try and um, go back to them. And believe them and have faith in them this but hopefully i'll be proven wrong and it'll be amazing but we'll be yet to see on that one so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please do me a massive favor like the video subscribe comment down below it massively helps share it if you'd like to um absolutely free for you guys if you guys would like to support me you can do that on things like um patreon youtube membership but if you can't do that even just a simple like like i say massively goes to help the channel and even just watching the video it massively helps as well so thank you very much for that Thank you so much to my Patreons and YouTube members. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. And um, until next time, guys, remember to stay safe, stay hygienic, everything else. Um, i just seen that King has just quickly said that it's 105 for separate models. Yeah. And then plus, um, yeah, before getting the expansion, um, yeah, it, it's the same cost of Warhammer Quest Curse City, which I really hope I... I'm wrong, but I, I don't know how it can be if they're not doing this all in a bundle box. Um, so good job on that, King, for, for searching that up. Well, it, it's just a spat in the face, really. If, if that, That's what it is. But, you know, at the end of the game, it's a board game with plastic toy soldiers. So try not to get too upset about it. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, though, more importantly, that Nagash is all. And all is one in Nagash. See you later.